Hey everybody, this is Perch. Yesterday I did this video about the uh, the X-Men Fashion Gala and as people who stuck with the video to the end, and I know a couple of people didn't, they got angry because I thought the comics costumes were ridiculous, um, you might have heard me uh, get a little bit annoyed at people who loudly support, aggressively support the comic through words and through tweets, but don't actually financially support it. So now it's another day and it's calmer and uh, you know we, I've got that great uh, William Esner Loeb's interview out there that I just I've been enjoying listening to that again I could listen to that guy all day uh, I wanted to kind of hit on this topic again because I think this is really important for the state of comics that we're in and this is one where everybody kind of has to swallow a little bit of pride and put their personal feelings about other things uh, to on the table and they need to recognize the reality of the situation that we find ourselves in. And, and that is basically this. Hearts and likes do not keep a comic book published. At you know, Marvel and DC, or frankly any independent comic, and it's even more of a dire issue for them, they don't operate off of likes and retweets. It's not currency. Um, and they need support to continue. And while moral support is good, cash is, as it turns out, better. Uh, I, I got particularly annoyed with this topic because there are a couple, you know, blogs and videos and sites uh, that um, I, well, I'll put it to you this way. Um, sometimes it doesn't even require this kind of detective work, but I, I'm a Photoshop user. I have been for a long time, uh, longer than I suspect many of the people listening to this have been alive. Um, in the very original, uh, the first several versions of Photoshop, I don't know when they took me out exactly, but at some point over the last 10 years they did. If you go to the special thanks, my name was in there because I was an early adopter and I used it and I would evangelize it and other things, a different part of my life. But Photoshop's a cool tool. If you use it for any length of time, though, you start to notice the tricks. Uh, you start to notice where, you know, people cut and paste and maybe do a bad job. Years ago, it was kind of a joke that lens flare, which was a filter that was used by Photoshop, was used by a lot of, uh, you know, people in Hollywood to make movie posters. You could always tell when somebody was using the Photoshop filter. There, there were, this is pre-memes, but people would make jokes about uh, that's that's been Photoshop filtered as a, as a joke. I'm not, I'm not sure how funny. That's a nerdy tech joke. At any rate, uh, when I view videos by big people, and when I say big people, um, everybody always assumes I'm talking about like uh, like like Richard or people like that. No, I'm, I'm talking about the people with like you know 500,000 subs or more, like the really really big uh, common uh, comic reviewers. Um, I can't help but notice at times when they're showing images that they're photoshopping out watermarks because they do it poorly or, or they put this stuff in. And that irks me because the place where the Photoshop clipping is happening is where maybe there's a, a you know, read free comics online tag, or maybe it's, you know, uh, when you, if you download, if you pirate a, a comic, What's very frequent is the final page is a page for the person who scanned the book. And so sometimes people flip through those things and if they're not paying attention, that page comes up. Now, let me make it completely clear. I'm against piracy. I've said it before. I, I think it's it's harmful. It's bad. I, I don't agree with it, but I'm also not your nanny. I'm not going to sit here and scold you and say, how dare you and everything else. It's, it's, a, it's something between you and your computer. I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's you. You get to make that choice. It's your call. Whatever. I, I, I'm not your parent. However, if you're a comic reviewer, if you're somebody who, who has a podcast or a blog, and in particular, if you like to get up on a high horse and really attack people who are negative about a comic, which unfortunately is very, very true for the X-Men fan base in particular right now, um, I don't want to see scans or photoshops or you know read free comics online in your screenshots because all you're telling me then is that you want to sit up there and you want to scold people and in many cases very aggressively and we'll get more into that in a minute but you're not actually buying the comics and i've heard some people say well i am buying them but you know i i don't want to i, I don't want to go through the effort to uh, to actually you know scan the page 
So I just go to Google image search and I throw in the comic and this is what comes up. Yeah, except here's the thing. The, the crazy part is Google image search, they're scraping. They don't have the you know read free comics online site there. So if you go and you put in a very specific comic and you look in Google image search and you just look exhaustively through all the images, it won't come up. Google is 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 you know removing those from their image search. I, I at least as far as I've seen, and I have looked because I I hate that excuse, and I, but on the same time I can understand it. I often grab a lot of art from Google Image. It's what makes up the art for several of these videos. I'll do that. Uh, sometimes I'll take the photo with my camera. There's lots of different ways I do it, but I can see somebody making that mistake. The, the problem is, in all my time of going searching for Google Images, it's rare that the pirated stuff come up. Rare to the point of, like, I can't remember it coming up. I'm sure it has, but it doesn't. So, again, I, I just, I hate this a very antagonistic, very militaristic, you have to read the comics. You have to read, how dare you not like this? Uh, the uh, the X-Men, people who don't like the X-Men comics right now are bigots. And by the way, it doesn't have to be just the X Men. The same was true whenever you see fan, whenever you see fan criticism, customer criticism about a particular comic. Because the funny thing is, the people who are criticizing the comics often, not always, are actually paying for it. And again, I, some people may really disagree with that statement, but uh, you know, more often than not, you see people posting photos of the comic they bought. You see people posting clearly you know, from their own camera phone, uh, a, a picture of a panel to mock it. And then you see, you know, almost at the same moment, rising up to meet the fan criticism, you see people uh, wander in to say, you know, how dare you, you shouldn't like, you know, you're, you're a terrible person for hating this comic. Well, first of all, as I've said before, everybody just, just relax. You're going to have to just calm it the F down. Uh, whether you like the comic or you hate the comic, that's your business. And if you want to say you love the comic or you want to hate the comic, that's your business too. Stop, please, people, please stop being the moral police of what people are supposed to like or dislike. Let people just make up their own minds. They can like what they like. We're all adults here. If I dislike something, I do not believe that all the rest of you are have to dislike it too. That's that's insane. Nor do I think that anybody listening to this video right now is going, oh my God, I can't possibly like this comic. Perch doesn't like it. No, I, I, I have plenty of confidence that you're all mature, smarter people than that. Nobody is, nobody is hearing me make fun of the Hellfire Gala costumes and going, well, I can't buy the comic now. I, of course not. If you like it, you're going to buy it. And by the way, for the record, I'm going to buy those comics. All of them. All 12. Why? Because I'm one of those idiots that has an unbroken X-Men run, truly unbroken, and so I've collected a lot of garbage. I have gone through all the different eras from the time when X-Men reprinted itself to the time that we got uh, the Chuck Austin run, which this is aging better and better by the year, I just gotta say. The uh, horrible Matt Fraction run off in San Francisco, some people loved it, I didn't, to the current run. I've got all these comics paid for with cash, uh, you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna hate something or love something, that's your business. Please stop, stop telling people who, who, who say, I hate this comic to stop taking things so seriously or, or just give it up. Let, let people love or hate whatever they want. But most importantly, and this was the, the, the point of the video yesterday, if you're in the business of being the high, you know, the high horse moral police about a particular comic, then you sure as hell better be buying it. If you're not buying this comic, then you are, you are introducing cancellation far better than the people who dislike the comic. People who dislike the comic just aren't going to buy it, but they're stating their intentions plainly. If you're saying it's wonderful, chef's kiss, this is the best stuff, OMG, I cannot believe these costumes, hooray, but you're not actually spending any money on it, you are the problem. Not the haters, not the trolls. Not the people who hate do who are you know re ripping the comic or roasting it or any of the rest. That is not where the money is coming from. Money comes from people who like the comic. If you like the comic, you support the comic. You sure as hell better buy it, because the the whining about cable getting canceled and how dare they do this when the sales numbers were in the 20, 20s, twenty thousands, is pathetic. 
that's sorry. That's on the that's on the people who claimed they love it and didn't actually pick it up. And right now, there are several other X Men comics in this line that are on the bubble that are in that same zone numbers wise, and they are going to get canceled if they if this continues. If you don't get the word out, if you love these comics, you love the costumes, you love everything else, but you're not willing to spend the money on it, you cannot be upset when it goes away, and it will go away. I, 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 many people have uh, cheered me on when I've attacked the other side to say, no, Marvel and DC are not in the business of forever publishing things that do not sell. They certainly have had comics that, that sell poorly and they keep them in print because they're hoping to make money off of trades or somewhere else. There's always business strategies in play. But if this is a comic that you truly love, you should not take, you know, take it for chance that some extraneous, some random other bit of financing is going to come in and save this comic you love. The best way to do it is put your money where your mouth is and support the book. But please stop attacking channels like mine or others when we don't like something, when you're not willing to put up the cash for the book yourself. This business does run on money, despite all the theories about this being a giant socialist agenda plot of publishing un, you know, un comics that won't sell. Sooner or later, comics that don't sell get canceled. And so if you love it, you got to buy it. Stop wasting your time talking to me. Stop wasting your time hearing that, you know, that fighting the good fight on Twitter about knocking back all the trolls and start opening up that wallet and buying it. If you don't buy it, it gets canceled. If you don't like the comic, don't buy it. Obviously. And and don't worry about it. Don't worry about the people who love it. Don't worry about the people who hate it. Just manage your own business. How is this that hard? Anyway, some more better stuff coming up uh, here soon. But I, I just wanted to give the, the calmer version of yesterday. Uh, but this is obviously something I feel passionate about because I get really sick of all the noise that leads to nothing. There you have it. Hey, uh, <laughs> what do you think? Are you as annoyed by this as I am? I am annoyed. Thanks for listening.